nutrition labels, food labels, snacks, snacks on snacks on snacks, snacks on snacks on snacks. Cannot compute nutrition label, food label, food label. Look at me. You ever look at a nutrition label and think, what the hell am I looking at? Well, I have answers for you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to read a nutrition label. I know, so exciting. Do you ever feel like you're strolling through the store you find some items you want to maybe purchase that might sound good, but you're also trying to be healthy because we're about to turn the new year, turn a new leaf. So you're like, what does this say and what is this scientific babble, right? There's a whole bunch of numbers, there's a whole bunch of words I don't normally see, and I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm just going to buy both. Or I'm just going to buy whichever one looks prettier for the marketing aspect. I've been there, I felt like a lost puppy in the store before, and I'm here to help you understand how to read a nutrition label. So, I took a poll on Instagram actually before even deciding I was gonna do this video. It was between should I do how to read a nutrition label or how to use and utilize a food scale. Nutrition label, label one, hands down. Did I just say label? Oh, yuck, that is not cute, sis. Can we please enunciate? I am a mom to a toddler who does not like to go grocery shopping in fact she'd rather run through the aisles and push everything off the shelves so when i'm shopping i'm like boom 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 gotta get in gotta get out also i don't even like people so it's like you know trying to get out of there but i also like to still read the labels and if i'm trying to find a new item that i've never bought before and i want to read the label i need to read one, two, three, four key things. When looking at a nutrition label, there are four things that I will consider. I'll list them right here. I will look at specifically the fat, carbs, protein, and ingredient list. Those for me are the biggest key things to consider when looking at the nutrition label on any item. And the reason behind this is because I track macronutrients. Macronutrients, just like a little if you don't know, you didn't see my macros video, macros are carbs, protein, and fat. So that's why I look at those three. I additionally look at the ingredient list because the ingredients in an item are what the item is composed of. And just because an item says peanut butter doesn't mean the only thing in it is peanuts. In this specific case with this Adam's peanut butter, it pretty much is the only ingredient. There's two ingredients in this, one of them being peanuts, the other being 1% less of salt. First things first, let's go over a nutrition label. Let's. I have a whole bunch of items here. Two things of different types of peanut butter. One with less fat than the other because sometimes you want the peanut butter taste so we can't have all the healthy fats that it offers. So that's the reason we have two different types. Let me show you um, the all natural peanut butter first up close. Hang on. Okay, this is the nutrition label for the Adams 100% natural peanut butter in creamy form. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are chunky peanut butter fans. I definitely am, but my husband has been preferring creamy. Anyway, um, when looking at this label, I want you to be able to find the four key things that I talked about. So at the top right here, in bold, it says total fat. And then over here in bold, total carb. And at the bottom, protein. I wish it said total protein to continue the pattern there, but it doesn't. That's okay. I'll just let that bother me for the rest of my life. Okay, the ingredients list right here is pretty short. It just says peanuts and contains 1% less of sodium throughout the entire jar, which is great. Another thing to remember when you're looking at labels, just an additional thing when you're serving yourself, is to look at the serving size. So it's great to know that this is how much fat there is, this is how many carbs, and this is how much protein, all in grams, but how much can you put on your plate of this for it to equal that exact amount? Well, well it tells you right here, it says a serving size is two tablespoons, also known as 32 grams, so if you have a food scale, you could weigh it out to 32 grams, or you could um, just get a measuring spoon of tablespoon nature <laughs> and then get two tablespoons and put it in your oatmeal or whatever smoothie you're planning on making with this peanut butter, or just on a spoon, doesn't matter. So that's how you would serve yourself based on the nutrient side. And this is the recommended serving. You don't actually have to put that much peanut butter in your smoothie oatmeal 
mouth. Does not matter. I like to use one tablespoon in my oatmeal personally. The serving size is just what the company recommends and some marketing tactics, especially like on boxes of cookies, will say a serving size for Oreos is two cookies. Is that a joke? Another really important thing to know about nutrition labels is that the ingredient list is actually listed based on what the, not only what's in the actual product itself, but whatever's at the top of the ingredient list is what it's majorly made of. So the first ingredient here is peanuts. This item is majorly made of peanuts. The second ingredient is salt or sodium and because it is listed second, there is less salt than there is peanuts. Does that make sense? So let's look at a more complicated label. The next item I'm gonna show you is Pop-Tarts. Great value because we are hardcore Walmart family shoppers. This is probably the most unhealthy thing we have in our house today, Pop-Tarts. And Jacob has a half a Pop-Tart every day that he works out and he has it during his workout. I don't utilize the intra-workout carb as much as I used to just because I don't really like to eat when I'm working out, but it has some good health side benefits, which is why he does it, which is why we buy it. Now that I've discussed that, I'm going to show you the nutrition label. All right, here is the Pop-Tart nutrition label. It's shaped vertically, whereas the peanut butter one was horizontal, so you'll see that a lot of the time when looking at different items. Um, but they still have the basic same things here, right? So total fat in bold. This one says carbohydrates, right? Total carbohydrates instead of total carbs, but it's also bold still. And then at the bottom, it has protein, just like the other one. And then on the side here in small print, this little half a box paragraph is the ingredient list. So when looking at the serving size, it says two pastries, which comes in like a normal Pop-Tart package, is a serving. And when you look at how much fat is in two pastries, it's 11 grams, total carb is 74. That is so many carbs for just a little snack. Like, whew, that's over half my daily intake of carbs. And then at the bottom, the protein is very low at four grams. So ideally for someone like me, this is not a good way to have a snack just because it would take up majority of what I get to eat during the day through my macros. But Looking at the ingredients list, the first thing you'll notice is that, wow, it's really, really long. It cuts off right here, I think. So remember when I said that the first ingredient listed is what it, the item itself is made of mostly? The first ingredient here is enriched wheat flour. That is the first ingredient. And enriched flour or enriched pasta or anything that's enriched is not necessarily healthy for you. So starting off the bat here with these Pop-Tarts is not ideal for something that you wanna put into your body. The next ingredient that the Pop-Tarts are mostly made of, number two, sugar. <laughs> Not great either. Um, as you go down the list, it doesn't get any better. There's just a whole bunch of things that if you can't pronounce it, it's probably not gonna be that great to go into your body. There are some things that you might see and think, oh, I don't know what that is. It must be bad, that might actually be good for you. Like. A lot of ingredients in yogurt are actually good for you, but they're just um, probiotics and there's many different names for them. But in this case, not that great for you. This is just something that's cheap and gets the job done for Jacob when he's working out. So eating one or two Pop-Tarts is not going to kill you. And eating two tablespoons of this higher fat natural peanut butter is not gonna make you fat. It's what you eat overall most of the time what you consume for the most for the majority of every single day is what your body's going to reflect so if you're majority eating 80 percent of your intake is nutrient dense foods like leafy greens oats rice you know lean meats a good variety then your body's going to reflect what you're eating one thing that's really important to know before you even start looking at food labels is to know how much carbs protein and fat you need to consume every single day this is called macro tracking i do it very loosely like i know kind of what's in everything now and what i need on an everyday basis but you may not know and i did make a video on it if you want to check out how to track your own personal macros i'll link it below but once you know exactly how many carbs protein and fat you need to intake every single day it will be easier to look at labels and know like, okay, well that fits into my macros for the day. I can have this many servings of peanut butter 
and my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'll still be able to be in my macros limit for the entire day. So that's why it's important to know what your macros are before you even look at a label. Um, but after that, it makes label, it makes understanding labels so much easier because you have a purpose. Like, I'll give you a quick macro example so you know going forward how this is going to be so important when looking at labels. My personal macros per day, of course I had to burp right there. My personal macros per day are in carbs, 165 grams, protein, 140 grams, and fat is 40 grams. That's what I have to eat every single day to maintain the body that I have right now, that I want right now, that's what I'm doing. So knowing that my macros are 165 grams of carbs per day, 140 grams of protein, and 40 grams of fat, all in a 24 hour period, I can now go ahead and look at a nutrition label. And in this example of peanut butter, a serving is two tablespoons and that equals 16 grams of fat. So if you remember from just a second ago, I said that my daily intake of fat in grams is 40. If I have two tablespoons of this, I'll have to subtract 16 grams of fat from my daily intake. And that only leaves me 22 grams of fat left for the entire day. And like, I want to have cheese with lunch and dinner and I want to have like mayonnaise on a sandwich with lunch you know and I know those items also have fat so I'm probably not going to have the full serving two tablespoons of this I'll probably have half a tablespoon or one tablespoon so it's more like six to eight grams of fat and that way I can have more fat later you see what I'm saying that's how I mentally go through looking at labels and that's my thought process just so you know Next time that you're at the grocery store, don't be afraid to pick up an item and look at the label and see if it's actually right for you. If you want to consider a different brand, there are different types of marketing tactics, but when it comes down to it, the labels on items will be the truth behind the marketing, if you know what I mean. So, or you, you can even do this too at your own house, I should say, you know, go into your pantry right now or your fridge or your freezer and look at the labels on the items that you've already purchased. So it's really good to be aware and conscious of what you're buying, what you're eating, what you're putting into your body, because what you put into your body is what your body will reflect in the mirror. If you have any questions about how to read a nutrition label or you think I forgot something and you want me to answer, go ahead and comment below in this video or send me a direct message on Instagram. I like to link it right here sometimes. Or is it over here? I don't know. I link it on the bottom sometimes if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram. Send me a direct message, reach out to me, let's be friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Food labels, nutrition labels, numbers, science, confusion, confusion. Child sleeping right in there. At least that will be a good blooper. Ugh.